Red Wolf still alive. Here's a wide open shot. Oh my and gosh. And she hits Dubé. it. Naomi, Naomi Dubé. Dubé. Springmeyer. She likes that spin move. Fell down, kept her dribble up. That was nice and up and off the glass. And it's a two point ball game. And a great defensive adjustment by the Red Wolves, honestly. Hattie Brown, she's hit a couple big threes. Back to Hattie Brown, she's wide open for the lead. Oh, and she knocks it down. Grenadiers are down one, under a minute left. That was the 8-0 run that capped a comeback from a 17-point halftime deficit for your Indiana University East women's basketball team at Indiana University Southeast on Saturday. It was the largest comeback from a halftime deficit in the Red Wolves program history. Your IU East men's basketball team also was at IU Southeast on Saturday. Here are some of the key plays from a win that put the Red Wolves in first place in the River States Conference East Division. Oh, dangerous pass there by DB. He's not going to be able to get back in time for that one, and that's going to be McKay. And that shot, oh man. Oh, Bishop Smith has got everybody to bite, faking out everyone on the Grenadiers. And Brandon Johnson now to Nick Tinsley. He's going to pull a mid range shot. It's going to be deflected. It's going to go back the other way. The Red Wolves on the other end. There's a wide open shot from Rollins, and he knocks it down. This next play didn't count, but still worth a look. 11 point ball game. Oh, and he hits it. Doesn't count, but Nate Nehoff from the free throw line of the Grenadiers. Just... Also Saturday, the men's 4x400 meter relay ran a B standard qualifying time for the NAIA National Meet to highlight the weekend for your Indiana University East track and field teams at the Spire Institute Midwest Open. Red Wolf athletes set 12 school records in all, including Savannah Hart in the women's 3,000 meter run, Shannon Milnickel in the men's 3,000 meter run, and Mackenzie Nair in the women's mile. Looking ahead, your IU East basketball teams are on the road Tuesday at Rio Grande. The women's game is at 5.30 p.m. The men's game will follow at 7.30 p.m. in the second game of the River States Conference doubleheader. This has been your Red Wolf Rewind for January 28th.